There's I nothing was, like a vibrator to get the like party a vibrator. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a true story. I've told it before, but I'm not sure if everybody's watching that day. I went into a well-known place in one of the um, airport areas. Yes. And I bought something similar for my shoulder. I, mm -hmm. for my shoulder. <laughs> and I honestly, maybe I, I don't know. I grew up in little old roadie. I don't know. Maybe I'm naive. And the man quite loudly said at the checkout counter, you know you can't return that. <laughs> and it slowly, it hit me what it was. And everybody it's was so looking at me. Funny. Yes. Well, you know what? Good for you. Yes. For buying a vibrator at an airport. Exactly. <laughs> you know, sometimes the flight is long. It is. Or you have to wait a long time in the airport. And what are you going to do? Exactly. What else are you going to do? Exactly. You know a lot. I really do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is that from doing the show? Because on this show, you play a self-help type of yes. author, right? Yes. And who finds yourself in the midst of a divorce. Yes. And you're giving all this advice, love advice to other people, and now you're going through divorce, and all the stuff that comes with suddenly being single, like yeah. maybe the massager for your shoulder, mm -hmm, of course, or, or whether you should um, involve yourself in threesomes. <laughs> How do you feel about all that? I feel that people should do whatever it is they're comfortable with doing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> whatever, in the, in the privacy of their bedroom. That's right. Yes. Or somebody else's bedroom. Right. Or whatever room they want to do it in. I, I, I just feel like it's super important to live your life in a way that is fulfilling. And whatever that means to you, you should honor it and enjoy it and love it. What's been your biggest dilemma? My, with my sexual dilemma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I don't even know the answer to that question. My biggest, I guess, uh, I don't know if we can really talk about my biggest. Oh, really? I think, I think size is an issue. Um, and I think when, when you meet a man and that is a, 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 an issue within the relationship that takes you by surprise. Because it's too big or too, too small. Oh, too small. <laughs> I mean, either I one. I mean, is... I don't know that it's really honestly discussed because what do you do, right? What do you do if it's I, you, important? You have to, you? to be gracious. You can't say a word. No. You can't say a word. No. So you can't. You have to be a jerk. You have to find a way to be. It's your fault somehow to extricate yourself from. How it's can so it be awful your to be fault? a guy? Like yes. that's the thing about that. I mean, I yes. don't know. That's that's the thing. So anyway, that's a dilemma, okay, right? Okay, that I'm is sorry. a big dilemma. I, I, okay. I'm gonna switch gears. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's gonna go on the low speed now. Exactly.